It's Saturday, August 2nd, 2014, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeoWeather.com video forecast. Taking a look at the radar, the satellite, the temperatures as of 11 in the morning, it's pretty active just to our south and west as a disturbance moves our way. You can see a bunch of showers and storms, and these storms are pretty slow moving. None of them are currently severe, although there are a couple of stronger ones out there here and there. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s on the east side where it has been mostly sunny this morning and generally in the 60s or lower 70s farther west where the rain has moved in. Unfortunately, a good portion of this rain and storms are going to move east and affect the majority of northeastern Ohio this afternoon. Taking a look across the entire country now, there is not a ton going on. There's a frontal boundary draped just off the east coast down into parts of the southeast, which is focusing some showers and storms today. There are also some occasional storms across parts of the southwestern United States associated with the monsoon, and some of those storms are producing flash flooding. That is very normal for that area for this time of year. The rest of the country is pretty quiet and mild, a whole lot of sunshine across the central portion of the country. Now, as we look down here towards Puerto Rico, you can see as I stop this, there is quite a mass of clouds. This is actually Tropical Storm Bertha. It's moving right by Puerto Rico, and it's going to go perhaps near the Bahamas, and then it's likely going to go somewhere between the East Coast and Bermuda over the next few days, so not really a big deal for the U.S., although it is getting pretty close to a U.S. territory right now. All right, coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers yesterday, we did 82 and 61, which was very close to normal. Today's records are 97 and 50. A trace of rain at Hopkins yesterday. Some areas saw a lot more. We're running well above normal on the yearly precipitation. Sunset is 843 tonight. All right, so the forecast for the rest of today, unfortunately, storms are going to be around for most of the afternoon, and we'll show you that more in just a second. Temperatures getting into the upper 70s. Storm chances diminish this evening. Lows getting into the lower 60s tonight. All right, so taking a look at how this may play out on one of our forecast computer models this afternoon. You can see we already have the widespread storms just off to our west with a piece of energy, and that energy is going to gradually move east and likely spark more storms off and on through the afternoon. And storms might be slow moving, so we could see some locally heavy rainfall. Things will probably persist into the early evening before they gradually diminish after dark, although we still can't completely rule out rain through the night tonight. So with that said now, if you're heading down to the Indians game tonight at 7.05 in downtown Cleveland, might be some rain early, but all in all it won't be too, too bad. Temperatures in the lower 70s, a light breeze, maybe a few sprinkles around for most of the game, but nothing too heavy. All right, so after today's good chance for storms, we dry out a bit tonight. And this blue circle coming in from the west is high pressure that's going to gradually dry us out as we head into the day Sunday. Now, Sunday morning into the early afternoon, there could be just enough juice to pop up a shower or thunder shower in our southeastern counties. Again, mainly through early afternoon. As we head later into the afternoon, that high pressure continues to build, which will gradually dry us out. Sunday night and into Monday, that high pressure passes right overhead, right overhead Monday morning. So we will definitely be dry Sunday night and into Monday, and even most of tomorrow will be dry as well. All right, so taking a look ahead on our big picture forecast charts now, today's disturbance skedaddles as we head into Sunday. So that'll lend itself to a drier day Sunday. And as we head into Monday and Tuesday, a little bit of warmth. Tries building in, but it's short-lived. You can see this disturbance diving down into the Great Lakes, the kink in the jet stream. The slightly cooler weather that will push a cold front through at some point, either Tuesday or Tuesday evening with maybe a few storms. And then as we head into Wednesday, that will bring another cool down. This cool down won't be too extreme, but it will be below average once again. Wednesday and Thursday, highs in the 70s, lows maybe in the 50s. As we head towards the end of the work week and into next weekend, some warmer air is going to try and gradually build in, while the cooler air gradually tries pulling out 
to the northeast. That may set up a bit of a battle zone somewhere near Ohio next weekend, which may mean some chances of storms returning next Friday. Again, that's a bit up in the air, but stay tuned. Some rain is possible next weekend. So here's what that all looks like on your seven-day forecast now after today's storms. Tomorrow, mostly dry rain chances less than 10%, so I didn't even include them in the forecast. Highs near 80 Monday, we warm up just a bit, low 80s, maybe mid-80s for a couple of spots, dry, partly cloudy. Tuesday into Tuesday evening, maybe a few storms, nothing too widespread. It's not looking like highs again, pretty mild on Tuesday, low to mid-80s. Wednesday, we cool off and we may see a couple of leftover showers, highs back into the 70s, lows again in the 50s Wednesday night. Thursday looks like a great day, and then as we head towards next weekend, we'll have to watch for some chances for storms. All right, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for watching. Check us out again tomorrow.